Good morning and welcome to the fourth annual Summit on Fundraising. I'm Joyce Kilhaywick. I will be your MC for the morning. And on behalf of the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute and the Jimmy Fund, I would really like to extend an incredibly warm welcome to all of you in this room. Fantastic to see you all here. This is an incredibly busy time of year. So many things going on in April and in May. Today is going to be just extraordinary for you. It's going to help you focus your efforts. It's going to lift all of us up because we're in this thing together, which is really what it's all about. I think it's going to be a very rewarding day. Uh, we have a terrific program lined up for you. But before I get started, I just wanted to tell you exactly why I'm here this morning. Some of you may know this, some of you may not, but I am a three-time cancer survivor. I... <laughs> Thank you. It, it is always amazing to get applause for that because, you know, I had nothing to do with it, in a sense. <laughs> Uh, I was unlucky and then incredibly lucky and on some level. But I am also, and this is very lucky, I am a former patient of the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. And I will, yes, <laughs> I will actually never forget walking into that building the very first time as a patient and meeting my chemotherapist for the first time, Dr. Karen Craig. And she had long blonde hair and big blue eyes and she looked to me like an angel that was going to save my life. And that is the feeling that everybody wants to have from their doctor when they meet them for the first time. And when you have that relationship and that connection and you believe that your doctor cares about you, loves you, essentially. There's nothing that can impede the progress of what's going to happen between you. Sometimes it goes really well, but that's your best shot when you make that connection. And I made that connection at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. It wasn't my first time with cancer. It was my first time having chemo. It was my third time as a cancer patient. But every single time, there was some new drug some new treatment, some new therapy that got me through to the next time so that I could be around, so that I could still be here. And that's where all of you come in. It is all your incredible hard work and fundraising that translates into the groundbreaking research and the compassionate care that sets the Dana-Farber apart. One of a kind institution. I am so proud to be here this morning and it's a privilege to be among you. You have to know that you have saved so many lives and that you are helping to heal us all. One of the things that I learned in addition to getting a second opinion all the time, always, no matter what, is that there is a tremendous font of love and support out there for everybody. I had no idea how many people were working on my behalf, people certainly that I knew, my friends, family, relatives, colleagues, but so many thousands more people like you who are out there working every single day and the little ripples that you make and how far they reach around the world it's incalculable. You are saving so many more lives than the people you will ever meet. But believe it, we feel it. And thank you for passing that on.